Yo, Maurice, you're the first person here. What's up, dude? What's up, everybody? How you guys doing? Hey, Taylor, how you been? What's up, guys? How you guys doing today? Welcome to the live stream. So, I, walk, I just walked around Dollar Tree and Target, and I was looking for a spray bottle, and I couldn't find one. And I'm walking down the aisle, I'm down like the cleaning aisle in Target, and these middle schoolers walk by, and they're like, ah, ah. I'm like, <clears throat> why? Like, why? <laughs> Can somebody answer me why they do that? And I'm just like, what the hell? Like, okay. Uh, but I didn't find the spray bottle that I need. I don't know where the spray bottle went. Like, I don't know where they're at in the store. I need, like, a plain spray bottle. So, yeah. How much do school buses cost? School buses nowadays cost around $130,000. A uh, spray bottle of what? Just a plain empty spray bottle. I went to uh, Dollar Tree and I bought a bottle of um, like their fake Windex stuff. And it doesn't work. I didn't buy it this Dollar Tree. I bought a different Dollar Tree. But I didn't want to buy the same bottle because they break. So I was like, I just want to buy like a good spray bottle at Target that I can like refill. You know what I mean? And... You know, I can't find one, so it was like, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I don't get it. Like, I was I was in the store, and I'm walking around. Well, number one, the problem is right next door is the middle school and the high school. So, literally right next door is the middle school and the high school. So, like, this is, like, I guess the hangout spot. Because when I pulled in here, there was kids racing each other in shopping carts. So, I guess this is, like, the chill spot for kids. I, I have no idea. But they're like moaning at each other. Like they walk by and the kid, the kid, literally top of his lungs in Target. He's like, uh, I'm like, what the fuck? Like what? I'm like, okay. I guess that's what we're doing nowadays. We're just walking around Target moaning. I don't know. <laughs> Can you open and close your doors? Uh, sure. What do you use the radio for? The radio is used for, um... Please conduct your child search now. I'm not doing this. I hate this child check thing. Please conduct your child search now. There we go. Go to Home Depot and look for a Zep spray bottle. Thank you, Tyler, Alfred, Angus. I appreciate that, man. $2 donation. Yeah, we have to. Yeah, I have to. Um, I'll, go to I'll do that. I'll go to Home Depot and get one. Um, because I do. Just one and one, because, like, look, I got this bottle of washer fluid, or washer, whatever it is, right? Please conduct your child search I'm going to have to flip this around, because I don't want you guys to see my vest. So stupid. Every time I start the bus, I got to do the damn child search. I did the child search, like, three times today. Child checkmate is now deactivated. Oh, thank you, child checkmate. Anyway, okay. Oh, all right. So, I bought this bottle of totally, LA is totally awesome. And it just, it just, it, it doesn't work. It's brand new. This broke off because I was trying to fix it, but it doesn't work. And I'm like, why? It's brand new. I dumped it out onto the the squeegee to clean the windows. Like I couldn't spray it. I'm like, like it's it's well now it's all shooken up, but it's pumping up like halfway, but then it stops. No, nah, the straw's not clogged. It's just it's just stopping like halfway. I, I don't understand. You gotta spin the nozzle. I know it's it's open. It's on spray. Look, it's 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 just not it's not pumping up. Look, I bought it brand new, and I was like, dude, 
Like, I was like, come on, man. So, I was going to go get a spray bottle so I could actually use this regular. And, yeah. So, I'm like, whatever. It is what it is. I know. It's junk, honestly. I mean, the stuff is good. I, this stuff is great. The LA is totally awesome. Like, it doesn't streak or anything. Only a dollar twenty-five. The bottle just sucks. I'm like, okay. So, I was just dumping it on my squeegee and just using it that way i was just like like you know uh dumping whatever i can't think of the word right now but yeah <laughs> um almost let me drink it that oh my god is there in a hole is there a hole in the tube no it's good i think it's the whatever this thing up here is like the I got, i'm gonna call it the plunger i think that's like not it doesn't have a good seal or something Sai Snicks GD Sands Gaming, 99 cents. Thank you so much. Wait, your name is not Sinus Gaming. What am I saying? <laughs> Sinus, thank you so much, man. Uh, would I ever drive another C2? No, never. Never again. Uh, what grade set of students do you think caused the most trouble on your bus? Um, middle school. Middle school are the absolute worst absolute worst now i don't drive high school because i actually haven't gotten a high school run yet but yeah i'm gonna take this vest off actually because i don't wanna i don't wanna i don't want you guys seeing the name of the company on it so i'm just gonna so i can move around a little bit better there we go that's better okay Ugh, now i can adjust myself um but yeah middle school sucks like they're they're coming into that age where they're like they're not innocent anymore. You know how, like, little kids are like, ah, hi, like, they're fun. You know, they're, like, having fun. They're not, like, cur they're not like cursing. They're not, like, trying to show off for the girls and everything. And, you know, but then you get middle school, and they're, like, they have something to prove, you know? And it's, like, what are you trying to prove? Just be yourself. You don't have to act a fool, man. Just chill, you know? They don't get that. They just, they just don't get that. Um, do bus drivers get money for cleaning supplies? Uh, no. The company gave me this. These work pretty well. These are nice. Surface wipes. These are, these are nice. Um, but, yeah. I cleaned the dashboard with these. But... Um, have you ever had to break up a fight? Uh-uh, we're not allowed to. How much do bus drivers get paid an hour? I get paid 30. Have a shout-out. Cassie McConnell, shout-out. Did you get a haircut? Yeah. I cut the, I cut the shag off. They kind of messed it up, though. A little bit. So, yeah. Uh, are you going to do another Minecraft Live? Maybe. Has somebody ever pooped on the bus? Yes. Not kids. When I used to work for this old company when I first started. So I've worked for three companies now. Three bus companies. And the first bus company I worked for, they were very, they were very spiteful. And if you used to, um, like, leave trash on your bus, like, say you came in... Your bus was dirty, you didn't sweep it, you were going to sweep it tomorrow morning. They would have a fit. So, raccoons would get on the bus, and they would go through the trash can, and they would crap on, your, on the dashboard and stuff. I mean, you know what raccoon crap looks like. Well, one time, this driver that I worked with came on her bus, and there was a load of human crap on the dashboard. And we think it was the owner's son that did it. I kid you not. We couldn't prove it. But who else would have went and crapped on the on the dashboard of the bus? That was weird, man. I think she quit that day. I don't think she ever worked. <laughs> do you have to ask do you have to ask for permission to film on the bus? Yes, and I already have permission from this company. <clears throat> um they actually they actually allow me to film. What year is your CE? This is a 2008. Nissan or Chrysler? Chrysler. What's your favorite bus model? ICCE. Or actually, Amtran International before they were IC. Um, 
Have you driven a minibus before? Yes. I actually drove a Minotaur like a week ago. Matthew Riley, $5 donation. Thank you so much. He said, Harbor Freight should have spray bottles as well. Thank you so much, man. I appreciate that. Is it a normal ICC 200 or 300? This is a 300. This is the DT. Chiefs or Eagles? Eagles all day, baby. Have you ever gotten pulled over driving a bus? Yeah, one time. I was laying on the horn at someone in, in an intersection because she wouldn't go. And the cop pulled me over and was like, you were laying on the horn? I was like, yeah, well, she was blocking the intersection. I didn't see a problem. And I got a, I got a warning. <laughs> um, have you ever got a flat tire? Yes. In school bus? Yes. I was driving through a neighborhood dropping kids off. I turned the wheel and the bus started like rocking like this. And I was like, what is that? And it sounded like, like rubber, like... Yeah, I got a flat tire. So I had to get picked up by another driver. They sent out a company to come and replace the front tire. They did it like right on the road. And then I had to go back and pick up my bus. Um, I saw that video. It wasn't 1108. Yeah. Yep. Is the fusion good? Uh, as well as it can be. It's leaking oil now. Um, I have a... Before, prior to the accident, I had a slight... Um, valve cover gasket leak and it got worse after the accident because I think it might have I, I don't know shifted something I don't know so the valve cover gasket leak is worse now so I'm gonna do the valve cover gasket next which is probably like 20 bucks and it's easy me and Calvin are gonna do it ourselves how long does it take to become a driver um a few months maybe um depending on your uh your qualifications, depending on um, your age, depending on your license, depending on your experience, depending on a lot of things. It could take anywhere from a month to like three months. I don't know. Me, I was, it was easy for me. Um, why do Thomas buses have spoilers? I've never seen a bus with a spoiler, but I've seen videos with buses with spoilers and I think they're for snow, but I have no idea. I've never seen one. What's your oldest bus, oldest bus you've driven? Oldest bus I've driven was a 1998 Ford Carpenter. It was a Ford chassis with a Carpenter body. And it was a piece of crap. Um, the newest bus we have is a 2023 ICCE with a Cummins. When was the last time you drove a C2? Um, when I got fired from the last company in October of 2021. Can you film the kids or not? No. You can't film kids on the school bus. It's against the law. It's against New Jersey law. Um, in order to be able to film kids, you have to um, get permission from all parents and everything. It's just too much of a hassle. So I have a lot of a lot of kids that come on my bus now that know me. And they're like, yo, you should film a TikTok with us. And I'm like, I, I can't, dude. Just can't do it. Why did I get fired for my social media? For my videos on TikTok. Apparently somebody got offended. And uh, reported me to the school to the school district. The school district called the uh, bus company. It was it was a big stupid thing because my videos weren't even offensive. So I have no idea. Um, have you gotten a bus accident? No, never. What's the best bus you ever drove? The my favorite bus ever was my two thousand and one Amtrak International. That was my favorite bus ever. Um, Chiefs are not winning the Super Bowl, Melissa. <laughs> um, what's the red button that's next to my driver? Driver hit it to get when someone threw, 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 eh, flew through the stop sign. So, if you're referring to this one right here, this little button right here, what this does is when you press it, it puts like a um, like a like a bookmark on the video so like our buses have cameras so your bus probably has a camera system outside so you press the button and it literally puts a mark it puts a mark on the i just hit that it puts a mark on here like that so you yeah um but yeah Yeah, what it is is basically so that when 
there's an instant on the bus, they can actually go in and pinpoint the exact moment that you press the button so that they don't have to go through hours of footage. Yeah, it makes it, makes it really easy. Can you make a first person bus driving video someday or you're not allowed to? I don't know. I really don't know. Um, are you able to do a walk around the bus? Nah. So I got permission to film with my company as long as I don't reveal who the company is, where I drive, any of that. So yeah. So you'll never see the out outside of my bus other than certain angles. What's the weirdest thing that ever happened with my bus? Probably when a mom smashed my window. She got mad at me for disciplining her kid and she came up and smashed my window. That was pretty bad. Have you ever done a field trip to Arizona? That's really far. What bus goes faster, ICCE or C2? Um, they have the same engines, the new, the new ones. Um, the new CEs and the C2s have the Cummins, the 6.7 liter Cummins. Um, what does the strobe light do? It's for inclement weather. So it gives like the bus more visibility. So if you're driving behind a bus, you can see it flashing in the rain, snow, sleet, whatever. Um, are you and our K bus going on any trip soon? Nah, I want to plan a trip this summer, but I'm probably going to go with Calvin this time because Joey doesn't really want to go across country anymore. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. Um... What do you think about the Ute style truck that's becoming popular? I've never, I have no idea what that is. Is it mandatory for you to turn the strobe light on? No, nah, but I, I leave it on. I, I'm, I like leaving it on. You're not supposed to discipline with a paddle. <laughs> have you ever drove a Wayne bus? No, nah. I've driven on a Wayne bus. When I went to high school, I was riding a 1995 Wayne International, I think it was. No emergency exits. No nothing. No no radio, no air conditioning, no nothing. That, that bus was bare bones boring. Um, when I did my bus evacuation, they told us how to use all emergency exits for once. Nice. What are you eating? Mints. I bought a bag of mints. Have you ever broke down before? Oh, yeah. I had a belt blow. I started leaking coolant one time. Uh, I had an oil leak in the bus. Uh, my bus wouldn't start one time at a gas station. Yeah, there's there's a bunch of times buses break down. Um, Wayne went to Funk to ninety five. Yes, yeah, so it was probably the last. It was probably the last one. Uh, what does Calvin want to see out this way? I want to take him to Death Valley. He's never been to Death Valley. He's only been to L A. So I want to take him out to the desert, stuff like that. But I'm trying to make more money, so. Uh, just be glad you're not driving a Bluebird. They're dangerous. So I heard a lot about Bluebirds. I talked to my boss's boss, who is like the top the top guy at our like local area. And he was telling me that the Bluebirds have a lot of problems from the factory. That like they they the quality control is really bad on Bluebirds. So they were having they bought brand new Bluebirds, and the lights weren't working. All this stuff wasn't working. And the issue was there was screws through the walls when they built the bus, like to put the bus together, and it went through main wiring harnesses. So that's crazy. Like the, the quality control is just not, it's just not there. So yeah, I don't, I don't, I mean, everybody says Bluebirds drive nice, but apparently they're just not, they're not good buses. Uh, take your hat off. Are you happy? Uh, why do you drive a CIC and not Thomas or Bluebird? Well, the company I work for doesn't have any Thomas or Bluebirds in our in our area. Um, like I said, the main the main manager, whoever, whatever he is, um, he only buys IC. He doesn't buy any other brand because he doesn't like them. So you're only going to see IC from now on. We don't have any other brand buses. That's it. That's all we have is ICs. Thank you, Coaster Nick. Um, a lot of, believe it or not, like a lot of companies prefer IC. 
out of all company, like out of all the bus companies, IC is the most reliable. And that's not saying much because IC has their fair share of problems as well. Uh, have you ever driven an electric bus? No, not nor not not yet. What's your meal plan for weight loss? I haven't really been on my weight loss journey lately. Um, kind of kind of fell off a little bit lately. Just been focused on work and social media and everything. I'll get back on it. As soon as the weather starts getting warmer, I'll get back on it. But, yeah, I mean, I'm not gaining any weight. I'm basically just staying the same, but, you know, we'll get back on it. What's your favorite, uh, what's your, wait, what's your, Jesus, it's going so fast. What's your favorite engine for a school bus? Um, favorite engine is prob probably the Cummins are nice, but they're not loud. Like they, they don't sound good, but they're nice. Um, probably the Max Force DT, and they have a lot of problems as well. They had a lot of issues back in the day. I uh, thought you were fired. Yeah, I was fired from the previous company I worked for. I work for a new company now. Um, have you ever been on a Bluebird? Uh-uh. Never. Have you driven a short bus? Do you like them? I've driven a short bus. I don't like them. And the reason I don't like them is because I'm so tall that the windshield is literally, like, at my eye level, like, right here. So when I'm driving, when I'm staying normal, the windshield, like, the top of the windshield is like right here. So I have to, like, duck down just to see how the windshield is horrible. Do you brush your teeth? Yeah, twice a day. Why? Um, I don't know anything about the oil changes. What bus did I ride as a kid? As a kid, I rode on um, Wayne. Like I said, we had a 95 Wayne. And then we had a 98 Carpenter International, which was a piece of crap. Um, what do you think about Durango's as cop cars? I think they're pretty good. I mean, I know a lot of companies use them now. So I know that a lot of people move out of my way when I'm on the highway. So I think they think I'm a cop, which is pretty funny. Um, can you show us the ambers and the reds on the ICC? Um, I mean, I guess... I mean, I'm sitting in a parking lot, but I don't, I don't really want to turn them on in the parking lot though, because if a car comes by, they're going to think I'm dropping off kids or something. <laughs> uh, Chase Boynton, thank you for the 99 cents, bro. I appreciate you, man. Um, have you seen any of the handicap ICC easy? I drove one, uh, like a month ago, maybe, maybe like two weeks ago, three weeks ago. I drove a handicap ICC. It drove really nice, to be honest. Spicy there, happy birthday. Why do buses have one-seaters? Um, well, they're technically not one-seaters. I'll show you. Give me one second. Oh. Uh, okay. So, they're technically not one-seaters. What they are is they're a two-seater. So, this is a two-seater. This is a three-seater, so it's it's kind of complicated because two kids, like two high school kids, really can't fit here, okay? And three high school kids really can't fit here. So it's more like it's literally a one-seater and a two-seater, but they have it configured as a two-seater and a three-seater because there's three seat belts, two seat belts. So it's kind of weird, to be honest. Um Actually, you know what? I want to clean those windows. You guys see how dirty those windows are? I'm going to clean those windows. Uh, let me grab my... Grab my paper towels back here. Grab this. So here's how I have to clean the windows, guys. Oh, wait. I forgot. I brought my window cleaner from my car. Never mind. Screw that. Huh. I completely forgot. We're going to clean some windows. Um... I don't know if I can prop you guys up or not. I'll just do it like this. Screw it. Wee! Dirty little fingerprints. Freaking kids everywhere. Oh, I think he heard me. Ugh, that's disgusting. Disgusting. Ew. Did 
That's disgusting. That's much better. And now we're going to do the other side because that one, oh God. How many dirty little hands have touched this window? See guys, this is a, uh, this is a spare bus. So on spare buses, drivers don't take care of them because it's not their bus. Well, it's not a spare bus actually, it's my bus now, but it was a spare bus before I got it. So there we go, clean, open the back door. What the hell is that? Okay, that's not rigged at all. I'm not even going to ask. I didn't do it. Who put my freaking seatbelts down? Can you have a shout out? CT Valley Rail Fan. What's up, dude? That's a broken seatbelt that I rode up. They got to fix it. That's a broken seatbelt I wrote up that they got to fix. Just, I think they're waiting on the parts to come in or something. I just tell the kids not to sit there because I don't have a, uh, I don't have full, full buses, so we're good. Oh, I am serious about keeping my bus clean, bro. I don't like a dirty bus. I don't like the seatbelts being down either. I'm probably going to sweep it now because it's dirty. It's actually disgusting. Ew. Disgusting. Uh, $5 nation from Majestic Sailor Jupiter. Thank you so much. All right. Um, I am going to sweep the bus now. Make sure you guys keep commenting your questions so when I come back, I will answer all your questions. Where is my broom? Where my broom be at? There, I got my broom. Guys, make sure you guys ask me as many questions as you can. Just keep coming. Eventually I'll be back and you'll hear, you'll see me. So I'll tell you guys a story. Um, the one thing that we hate, that bus drivers hate, is when you guys throw your trash on the floor. And I know that, like, you guys don't think it's a big deal, but we absolutely hate it. Just because it's like, for me, I'm like a clean freak. Okay, I keep my cars clean. I keep my bus clean. It's very hard to keep up with school bus, like with being clean. So if you guys run a bus, do your bus driver a favor. Please don't throw trash on the ground. Like, please, because, like, it's just annoying, you know? All right, so what I do is I sweep everything into the middle aisle, and then I'll go to the back of the bus and drag it from the back to the front. And then I'll sweep it into my trash can off the steps. I haven't swept this bus in like a week, so it's pretty bad. I'll show you guys the bat, the, uh, the pile of trash that there is once I'm done. Because there's going to be a bunch. All right. So now we're going to go to the back. Drag all this stuff up front. By the way, this broom, it's not my broom. And it sucks. It's like a hard bristle broom. So it doesn't like, it doesn't bring all the dirt with it. It just brings like the big stuff, so you really gotta like press hard to get all the dirt up. And yeah, it's just a pain. The pile is already big, guys. Just yeah, just do your bus driver a favor. Please don't dirty up the bus. Please, call boss is begging you, cause I don't, I don't feel like doing this, you know. I mean, it's just annoying. To be fair, I wish I had my leaf blower. 
Look, there's a little piece of gum all over the floor. Okay. This really requires elbow grease, man. Okay. Here we go. I thought there would be a lot more. Whew. I'm tired after that one. Only because I had to put elbow grease into it. So now, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take my trash can, and I'm going to sweep all this crap into my trash can. Open the door and boom. Yeah, no, only for dirt. I'll, I'll sweep dirt out of the bus, not trash. I gotta sweep trash out of the bus. Just because that's littering and then God forbid if someone were to see you, get a fine or something, they might call the company. Your driver littered. No, I don't want that. All right, there we go. The heavy stuff is in the trash can. Now we'll sweep all the dirt out the door. I don't mind sweeping dirt out the door. Just not heavy stuff. Now I'll show you guys what the bus looks like. All nice and clean. This time of year sucks because like there's like salt everywhere. Like from outside. Kids drag salt and everything on the bus. Like road salt. It's like ugh. Alright, there we go. Okay. We're clean. So here is the here we go. Nice and clean. Uh, nice and clean. I'm proud of it. Now, if this were a newer bus, I would mop the floor. But because it's older, I don't do that. Just because it's older. There's really no point in mopping the floor. Okay. Yes, I am worn out from that. I'm tired today. Ugh. Everyone go visit him at the Target parking lot. You don't know what Target parking lot I'm at. Huh. There we go, right in the trash can. Why do some light buses have taillights and blinkers but others don't? Light monitors? This one has... Um, this one has both. Uh... Child checkmate is now activated. Not again. Child checkmate, self check confirmed. Probably have to walk to the back of the bus again. <sighs> I hate doing that. Put duct tape over the seats with the broken belts. I, I already wrote it up. We're just waiting. We're just waiting for them to fix it. I don't know how long it's going to be. Uh, would you buy an older Ford Explorer? Nah. They're junk. They're junk. No thank you. I hate that child check, but I know it's, it's not that I hate it because I get it. It's for safety. Like I get that. Right. And it's a great thing to have for safety, but the thing is it should only work if I, well, I did just turn the red lights on, but if I turn the red lights on, that's when it should activate. Not all the time. Like this thing, if I, if I start the bus and pull it 10 feet forward after sitting for an hour, it'll be like. Child tech me is now taking it. Please check my child tech me. I'm like, oh my god. I'm like, leave me alone. You know? 
Uh, Charlie Busby, happy birthday. Or happy birthday. Shout out to you. What the hell? Dude, I have, I swear to God, I have dyslexia. I swear to God, I have dyslexia. I don't know. I just read it as happy birthday. Would you buy a school bus? I wish. Um, when COVID-19 first started, did it stress you out as a bus driver? No. I had off. I didn't work for six months. It was nice. You're welcome, Charlie. If you had to choose between a Thomas C2 or a BBV, what would you choose? What's a BBV? Are you still with Calvin? Yeah. Uh, what's a BBV? What year is your bus? 2008. Would you ever go back to being a limo driver? No. No. There was no money in that. Oh, Bluebird Vision. Oh, no. No, I've heard too many problems with those now. My grandparents is 75 and still working bus. Nice. Some light miners just have black over the taillights. Really? Mine don't. Mine works. Can we see the basketball game? I'm not even there. I'm like 15 minutes away. I have nowhere to park. They didn't have a parking. What year and what engine? Oh, wait, and it's got the Max Force DT. Oh, okay. Do you enjoy the... All the ice that I have black taillights. I don't know why. Black taillights, like... What do you mean? Like, they look tinted? Because I've seen that. Do the kids recognize you? Yeah. All the time. Is your bus governed to a certain speed? Yeah, 58. I can only do 58 miles per hour. What do you favor about the Max Force DT? Um, they have more, like, more oomph to them than the, uh, than the, um, the V6. Does your bus have a regen system for your exhaust? Yeah. I don't know how to use it, though. Is it normal I stro stare at the strobe light while I do maintenance on the bus? 50 a.m. going 65 to 70 in my little truck. I know. Dude, I hate it. I hate the fact that I'm, I'm governed at 58. It's horrible. I get run over, dude. Like, I get run over on the highway. And it adds, like, 20 minutes to my trip. Um, well, you can only do 58. Isn't that dangerous if you're, say, 85 mile per hour highway? Well, all the highways in Jersey are only 65. There's nothing higher than 65. So, I mean, we've come, like, I've had, I've had drivers tell me that they've complained in the past about it, that we want higher limits, but, you know. Some of them are 60. Some of them are 65. Some of them are 58. Some of them are 55. It, it depends. Um, am I still a backup bus driver? Yeah, I'm not going to change that. I like being a backup. I prefer being a backup. Does your bus get gas mileage? Uh, let's see. Six miles per gallon. Yo. I got to show you guys something really weird. Okay. So. This bus has... 150,000 miles, right? Look at this. That's the trip odometer. 74,000. All right. Should I reset it or should I keep it? Should I reset that trip, the trip, or keep it? That's pretty crazy. That's half the mileage of the bus. What do you guys think? Keep it? Keep it? Keep it? Okay, I'll keep it. That's pretty insane. This bus has 11,000 hours. 5,000. We'll reset this one. I oh, know we're not going to reset that one. There's the miles per gallon. All right, so we kept, we're going to keep the trip miles on this one. It's pretty insane. $5 donation. Thank you so much. Let me read your name, bro. Let me give you a shout out. I give everyone who donates a shout out. Uh, DJ KT said, Do you like being a school bus driver or would you? like to do something else so okay that's a good question 
So my dream career, and that's if you can call it a career, would be to travel the country and do social media full time. Um, so filming, vlogging, basically like maybe a van life, something like that. I would love to do that. Um, if I can't do that, then I'll stay a bus driver. But I would honestly like to dra travel the country and do like van life or something like that. Perry the platypus. Bro, you're spamming. Stop spamming. Okay. Um, what's up, Austin? Have you ever had to call the cops as a kid? Yes. A hundred percent. Uh is your bus is your bus full LED? No. Um two dollar donation, Cameron. But, uh, Buen Giorno. I hope I said that right. Would you ever consider being a truck driver? I thought about it. Um, but probably not. Probably not really my thing. Um, DJ KT, you would love to do that, but you don't really know how to do what? Be a truck driver? Um, so what you have to do is you have to go to school to be a truck driver. Um, you have to get your CDL Class A with whatever endorsements you want. If you want to do tanker, you have to get tanker. If you want to do triples, doubles, you have to get that. Um, basically, or you can sign on with the company. Like, a company will pay for you to get your license. Like, if you... But normally, you have to sell your soul, your left nut, and your firstborn to be with the company. Um, so, yeah. Um, and then you get your license, but... There's different ways of doing it, so it's like, you know. Dude, he really did. Like, he's, that's weird. Am I doing a sports tournament? Nah, just a game. How's the bus horn sound? <laughs> Do you like ICRE? No, I don't like flat nose. No, this has a, this has a good horn. Travel the world and film. Thank you, DJ KT. I appreciate that, man. Five dollar nation. Travel the world and film, like you said. I would like. Oh, you would like to, but don't know how. I've seen people flip a school bus. Um, thank you for the donation, bro. Yeah. Um. So the best way to do it is you have to get a social media following. Well, I mean, for me, it would be a social media following, and then I would have to be able to make the money on social media so that I don't have to work a regular job. That's the hardest part is making enough money to be able to do it. And then you also have to rely on that money. So, you know, with social media, you can have an up day, you know, an up, up year, a down year, an up month, a down month, an up week, a down week. Last month you can make five grand. This month you can make 500. You know, it's it's up and down. It's never consistent. So, you know, and, it, and it's hard to like, it's hard to like consistently keep posting because you get kind of burnt out after a while. So, you know, they're probably like, what the hell is that guy doing honking? Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Would you... Somebody just honked back. I think someone just honked back. Sound like someone honked back. Anyway. Oh, bless you. Someone in the parking lot is confused now. Does your bus have a light status board inside? Yes. What are the options on the Freightliner buses? The one thing that the Freightliner buses have is they have a heated seat for the driver, which is nice. I'm waiting for this uh, the coach to call me. I think someone honked back, I swear to God, because I honked, they were like, beep. You're almost at a million subscribers. Did you ever think you would be that famous before you were a YouTuber? Never. 
I'm actually gaining subscribers for the first time in a long time. When I lost my job, my, all my social medias went down. And the thing is, I didn't want to come back to driving a school bus because I was I was so burnt out. And I was so upset by the way I was treated when I got fired. Um, that I, I was really just like turned off to the whole bus driving thing. Like, the thing is, that was my thing on social media. Like, that was my passion. That was what I made videos about. That's what everybody loved me for. And when I lost my job everything sort of just fell apart and like I sort of lost my 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 motivation honestly on social media and I, I just I don't know you know I, I re oh I just slipped I really I really never intended on coming back but you know I work with a lady who I used to work with at the previous company and she was my best friend at that job and she hit me up like three months ago and she was like hey she's like do you want a job and i was like sure because i had gotten fired from the grocery store <laughs> um i got fired from the grocery store for time management or something i was late um clocking in from breaks and stuff like it was it was really stupid um so i didn't have a job and she was like, hey, do you want to drive a bus again? She's like, I'm working for this company. She's like, and they're paying pretty well. And I was like, well, how's management? Are they cool? Or, and she's like, oh, yeah, they're they're great. And I was like, okay. So I came here, applied, got the job. And then I found out that my mom's cousin actually was the manager here, like, a couple years ago. I'm like, really? Didn't know that. <laughs> um, glad you got another school bus job. It's like giving the old company a big F you. <laughs> uh, you know, the thing is, I don't want to talk bad about them because they were great for five years. I was with them for almost six years. Never had a problem. And then all of a sudden, I don't know what happened. I really don't know what happened. They say I got fired for my social media, but nothing on my social media was offensive. I had a bunch of my um, elementary school parents from my run I used to do reach out to me, and they were like, hey, do you want us to fight to get your job back? And I'm like, I don't even want it back. By the way, guys, do me a favor. Smash a like on this. Let's get to 200 likes, guys. Uh, what do you think of UK buses? I've actually never seen a UK bus. She was 19 with a baby on the way. What year is your school bus? Oh, wait. Sounds like you've had it rough these past few years. Burnout is such a concern for a lot of people in the YouTube community. It really is. It's kind of like I compare it to like a writer, writer's block. Like, you know how writer's block, like when, when writers, like authors, write books and they get writer's block and they don't know what to write anymore? It's sort of the same thing as that. Like, it's sort of sort of the same exact thing. Let me see something real quick. Okay, I wanted to make sure I wasn't in, uh, what do you call it, mode. Because they're supposed to be done by five. Um, I'm a night custodian. I do like it, but I don't. But I always hate Fridays because I have to go in early at five. DJ KT, thank you so much for five dollar donation, bro. Yeah, custodian doesn't sound bad. Um, are you still in contact with Neil? <sighs> Not really. I haven't talked to him in months, to be honest. I should probably give him a call. Um, so they fired you because of one complaint. Yeah, they, they sent me an email. I made videos about this. I don't know if you guys saw it, but they sent me an email saying that I'm no longer allowed to film on the bus um, because the parents were complaining that the bus is not to be used for filming and blah, blah, blah. I'm like, dude, I'm filming in my off time. I'm filming after school when we're done driving. Like, I wasn't filming at the school. I wasn't filming, you know, on the clock. I was literally done and I was filming my videos. Um, and they said that they had a problem with that. And then, and because it was, I was making money off it. They were like, well, you know, uh, we don't want you filming on our buses anymore. So I, I emailed, I emailed them back. I'm like, okay, fine. I won't film on the bus no more. And I made a video saying that 
um, some Karen wants to get me fired. And that video kind of blew up on social media. I got like 100,000 views or something like that. And I got another email saying that the school district no longer wanted me to drive for the district. And because of that video. So two weeks later, I got a phone call from a coworker of mine that I was friends with. And she said that she heard I got fired. And I was like, that's news to me. I haven't heard a thing. I heard that they were trying to find me a new um, district to drive for. So I went and applied for unemployment. And I got denied. And I was like, okay, this is weird. Why would I get denied for unemployment? So I scheduled an appointment to talk to someone with unemployment. And I found out that the company actually lied about the dates they fired me. They lied about the video. They lied about a bunch of things. And I ended up getting unemployment because they ruled against the company. They said that the company wrongfully terminated me. They didn't have a social media policy. And the time, the date that they fired me that they said they fired me for didn't match up because the video that they claimed that I got fired for was posted a day after I was fired. So it was like they fired me on October 17th, but the video that they fired me for was posted on the 18th. So how did they get fired on the 17th if the video that they fired me for was posted on the 18th? So, yeah, it didn't make any sense. Do you like any engines that don't run on diesel? Apparently, the gas engines are good. Close this. It's kind of getting cold in here. How much do you get paid being a bus driver? $30 an hour. It's very good money. Hi from Canada. Hi, Carson Campbell Logging Inc. It's 510. Would you drive an electric ICCE? Sure. I, I would I would like to drive one just to see what they drive like, honestly. It's your birthday? Hey, happy birthday, Aiden. Hey, what's up, Gaelic, Gla Gaelic Gladiator? God, say that ten times fast. What's up, man? Uh, what's up, Scream from Florida? What's up, Jose? What's going on, man? Do bus drivers get paid a salary or hourly? I get paid hourly. Um... 7-Eleven or Dunkin'? 7-Eleven. Not a big Dunkin' guy. Honk again. Nope. Oh, lady looked at me. Now I feel awkward. She looked at me. <laughs> uh. All right, guys. I'm going to end the live stream because I should be leaving here soon. They should be coming out, so I'm going to head over to the school I don't want to drive with the phone on the dashboard or whatever recording. So thank you guys for watching. Um, I did not gain all my way back, by the way. Um, thank you guys for watching. And uh, go follow me on Instagram at Clubhouse and Jay. Uh, I'll see you guys later. Have a great night. Love you all.